good morning you guys and um, welcome back to a another day in the life video um, today I have a busy day um, and I'm feeling really frazzled this morning so it's already been a rough morning it was a rough night I'm currently making a bagel it just popped up from the toaster for myself for breakfast Hunter is down for his first nap the boys are in school and I don't know we've just we've had a stomach bug for the past couple days everyone in my house has had a stomach bug except for me thankfully hopefully I don't get it I feel fine so far so we'll see how that goes um, but Hunter was the last one to get it and he has not been sleeping we didn't sleep last night I think he's feeling better today though like he ate a little bit of his breakfast this morning and he drank his bottle so that's a good sign because he didn't want to eat anything at all yesterday and then um so yeah we got the boys off to school we've already been to walmart this morning because we were almost completely out of formula um and i needed to get a few things from there i am going grocery shopping today um, i'm gonna go to aldi's though aldi aldi aldi's and do grocery shopping in the store not something i typically do but um we just recently had had an aldi open up in town and i've been a few times and i really do like it um and you save a lot of money there so i feel like that's where i need to go this week because i have a smaller budget than usual for groceries um we did our january i mean our june all right sorry about that my um my sim card got full so i had to delete some things but like i was saying we did our june budget last night me and my husband and we figured out our budget for the month and this week we have a little bit of a smaller grocery budget so i'm gonna be going to aldi to see what i can get i did meal plan hold on one second i haven't had any coffee this morning you guys and it's after 9 30. i didn't sleep at all well i did sleep but i feel like like I was up like every couple hours and I feel like that's worse than getting no sleep is constant interruptions during sleep um what was I about to do oh <clears throat> so this is our meal plan for the week um we're gonna do steak kebabs and salad one day BLTs and fries chicken gyros I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the chicken gyros and then we're gonna try salmon rice and broccoli <clears throat> I've never had good luck cooking salmon. I like salmon, like raw salmon, but I've never had a lot of luck cooking it. And my husband swears he doesn't like it, but I'm pretty sure it's just because he's never had it cooked right. But my mother-in-law told me a way that she cooks it, so I'm going to try to do it that way. Um, nachos, and then this weekend we're having Emma's birthday party, and we're just doing like crabs and hot dogs and hamburgers and having some of our friends over and some family over. Um, so that is on here as well that is a separate um like the crabs and everything is like a separate budget which is why our grocery budget is a little bit smaller this week but you know we have to move things around to make things happen and that is fine um but i did make a semi grocery list at least everything that i need for the meals um on my phone to get from aldi i did get a few things from walmart this morning that were like name brand that aldi wouldn't carry um so yeah that is on the plan today so i'm gonna after i eat i have a couple phone calls i need to make um and then i need to do a quick reset of the house while hunter is still napping i'm gonna wake him up at 11 11 15. he's been taking a really long morning nap and i think it's throwing off our whole sleep schedule as well as the stomach bug so i'm gonna wake him up at like 11 11 30. we're gonna go grocery shopping um and then come home I'll put it all away eat lunch um and then put him down for his second nap because i also made a to-do list so i did a lot last night when i was up with hunter like I, he just wanted me to rock him so i made like a lot of lists so i need to i need to go get formula from walmart groceries from aldi oh i need to order emma's cake for today reserve the crabs um, I need to finish editing tomorrow's video, Thursday's video, make a thumbnail. And I also want to do on Canva, I want to make like a summer schedule slash like chore chart for the boys because I'm really nervous about how summer is going to go. And I feel like if we have a schedule 
semi schedule like a like a very flexible schedule for them to follow then maybe we will um do better because i want to limit screen screen time um this summer because brayden Braden has a lot of screen time and he really shouldn't and I'm like telling him myself here so don't come for me I know it's not right but he um you can definitely tell his behavior is different when he's been on his phone for a while so I want to limit that during the day like strictly limit it like his phone is like he has a phone because he has diabetes um but his phone is like has a lot of like parent parental like things on it like I can shut it down from my phone and everything like that but I do want to limit it so I feel like if we have a schedule and things that we need to do during the day that'll help him not be on his phone so much not want to be on his phone so much so that is my plan for today but this was a really long intro I hope you guys enjoy this video and you enjoy hanging out with me make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're new I would love to have you join my little YouTube fam I'm uploading two vlogs a week um, they are like mom motivation um, a lot of cleaning, um, really just spending the day, realistic day in the lives of a stay-at-home mom because I feel like a lot of a day in the lives that you see on YouTube aren't very realistic, at least for me. Um, I don't have a lot of money to go spend and buy and do a bunch of hauls and stuff like this is real life. So um, if you need that kind of motivation, definitely stick around. Um, and also leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing today where you're watching from just say hi so that I know you're here um, but yeah I'm gonna eat my breakfast drink my coffee make a couple phone calls and then reset this house really quickly um, and maybe I'll be able to take you guys along with me for the cleaning portion or like the reset um, but yeah we're gonna have a good day All right, you guys, so we just got back from Aldi. I have the groceries here on the table. I spent $149, I think. Let me see, here's my receipt. Oops, sorry. $149.13. And I think I did really good. I think I got all the groceries we needed for the whole week plus some. Hunter scratched me. Sorry about my appearance today. I just did not get fully ready today and it is what it is. It's a baseball day night, so it's gonna be a really long day, busy day. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the groceries that we got really quickly. Okay, so I'm just gonna show it to you as I pull it out. First thing is a big pack of, okay. 
that's better. The lighting's better over here. So let's go back over to this bag. All right, so like I said, I got the big pack of paper towels, salmon, and then I got this smoked salmon for bagels in the morning. I heard it's really good at Aldi. So you're gonna try that out. Two sirloin steaks for the steak kebab. And I didn't need chicken, but I did get this chicken because I'm just gonna stick it right in the freezer because there was a 50% off markdown on it, which only made it like three, like 350. So I took that. I, when I go to Aldi, I always look for the 50% markdown meats. It just means that they have to sell them soon, but I just put them right in the freezer. Um, I got some Mexican style street corn big dippers. Um, because I got this, I'm really excited about this. I've been looking everywhere for it. The Pico, Pickle de Gallo. Um, I haven't been able to find this anywhere. And I love pickles and I love Pico. So I figured I love this. I'm going to try that with these chips. <clears throat> Tzatziki for our chicken. Gyros, whatever you say it. A cucumber for snacking and the gyros. Head of lettuce. Two things of bacon for BLTs. I got a thing of pulled rotisserie chicken um, for my husband to put on the salads and stuff because he loves to put chicken on stuff. And this was kind of expensive, but I feel like it's worth it. Let me get my dishwasher. <laughs> Alright, tomatoes for BLT and salad, peppers for the kebab, and then I got three of the chopped salad mixes. I got the sunflower salad mix, the bacon avocado ranch, and the southwest chopped salad mix. So, I'll probably have one of those for lunch today, with this easy. And then I got some chicken lunch meat. I got strawberries, oh, blackberries, and strawberries. Mushrooms. Two avocados. A bag of red onions. Oh man, oops. Red onions. <laughs> and a gallon of milk. Got two packs of pita bread for the gyros. There's only three in each, so. What? Two packs of hamburger rolls and two packs of um, the hot dog rolls for Emma's party this weekend. We already have the burgers. I still do need to get the hot dogs, but they didn't have like ones that I wanted at Aldi. Olive oil. We were out. I got two yogurt cups for my husband to take to where I got strawberry and then the blueberry. <clears throat> oh, I, I wanted to try these. I think the boys might like these. They're mini pepperoni pizza cones. Oh, they look yummy. Not healthy, but yummy. Um, two things of mac and cheese for easy dinners. Frozen broccoli florets. I think you can steam in these bags. Yeah, steam in bags. So I got two of them. These are easier than the fresh broccoli because I feel like if I'm not gonna use it, then it doesn't go bad. It's just like in the freezer. Um, some cookies for the boys. We've never had this, these kinds, so we were able to try them. Dried mango. The dried mango at Aldi is so good. Some little cheese cracker cookie thingies. Some gokers. I'm gonna put these in the freezer for all the boys. I think Hunter would like those too. Some Swiss rolls, honey buns. A big thing of dino nuggets. Some donut shop coffee. I've never tried the Aldi um, brand K cups, so I'm gonna give them a shot. Some French toast sticks for breakfast. I got the cinnamon ones. And then I got two things of cereal. 
marshmallow and stars, lucky charms, and then like their fruit by the or fruit loops. So that's everything that I got for um, $150. And I feel like that is really good. Like really, really good in my opinion. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this put away and then make me in hunters for lunch. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this pickle de, de gallo really quickly. Mm, it's really full. Man. Mm, I can smell the pickles already. Mm, it was really good. I don't know, it's not focusing, but. Mm. So I'm sitting down at the kitchen table with my computer. Hunter's right here playing with some balls and some magnets and random things. But I'm gonna um, start doing the like chore charts and like a rough schedule for the summer. Just I'm just gonna start it. I know I'm gonna probably tweak it a lot, but like I said, I'm a little bit nervous about how summer's gonna go. Cause I'm really good at like falling off a of routine. I work really well with a routine, but I'm also really good at like tossing it to the side, need be. So I need a schedule that is flexible for me and the boys, something that like, isn't like a strict like time schedule, but is like a basic, I don't know, like a basic like routine for our day. So that's what I'm gonna do really quick. Um, I did just order Emma's cake. So that is marked off of my to-do list. <clears throat> and I feel pretty good about um, like our, cause tomorrow is June 1st. So I'm trying to like get on a better budget for the month. Let me know if you guys like sit down with your partner every month and like go over your budget for the month because that's something that me and my husband haven't done in the past and we're trying to start being more conscious of the money that we're spending and being on the same page about what needs to be paid when and how much like our budget each week is for like groceries um gas extra stuff and i don't know it's kind of new to us i mean i've I've always been the one that like actually pays the bills. He's the income that comes in, but I'm the one that like physically pays the bills. <clears throat> um, but I feel like it's best for us both to be on the same page. And you know, we're a one income family, so things get tight sometimes and we try not to live above our means, but it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard not to. Um, but, and I, I feel like we could be way better with our money. Like we should be able to save way more than what we, we have been, but we're just really bad at spending money. I like, I'm bad at like going to Target and spending money that we don't need, or we order out when we don't need to, which food is a big problem for us because we are quick to order out. And we've done really good lately since we've been trying to do like a lower calorie diet my husband's done really good actually he's been packing his lunch every day for like three or four weeks now so I'm really proud of him for doing that because he's always he's always like started to pack his lunch he'll get like all into it and he'll pack it for a few days and then like he'll fall off and he'll eat out every day and that really adds up when you eat out for one meal like Monday through Friday and usually it was two meals usually it was breakfast and lunch and that just that just adds up like that's a lot of money that we could be spending on bills or doing fun things with the kids especially since it's summertime now i really want to focus on doing things with the kids because i'm i'm a very introverted person and i prefer to stay home like i'm just a homebody that's what i am 
but I don't want to instill that in my kids. Like Brayden's already so much like me. Like he's very introverted and he's fine doing things on his own and entertaining himself and you know, not having a lot of friends and people around him. Like he's just, that's just who he is. He's very independent and likes to do his own thing. Dalton is the opposite and I don't want this. Oh, would you bump your head? Do you have a bump your head? And I don't want this summer to change that in him. I don't want him to, you know, be inside, be in, at home all. Like, we have a pretty nice sized yard and, like, we go outside and play. But I want to, like, take them to the park and go to, like, the little beach that we have near us and do go to the zoo that we have, like, a free zoo, like, that's, like, an hour and away that has, like, it's, like, a, it's a little zoo, but there's, like, a big park nearby and, like, just go do like some fun things outside this summer and get out of my comfort zone so I don't instill those habits in my kids. Which there's nothing wrong with being introverted in a whole body. Like I'm fine <laughs> with that part of myself. Like I'm 100% fine with that. It drives my husband crazy because he's the complete opposite. But that's just who I am. It's who I've always been and like and I think I've finally, I used to hate that about myself and used to make me really insecure that I was like, like, why am I so shy? Why don't I like talking to strangers? Like, it's just, but now I'm just comfortable with it. Like, that's just who I am. Like, I observe and I will talk to people. I am friendly, but I'm just not like going to go out of my way and be around a bunch of people because it is exhausting on me like when we have like like birthday parties and like a ton of events around a lot of people it takes a lot of energy out of me to like socialize for a long period of time i don't know if anyone else is like that but it completely like depletes my energy um i so i'm on canva right now i don't even know if i've ever used canva but you can do so many things on canva like that's where i make my thumbnails at but I also make like all the kids um, birthday invitations on there. Um, I made their chore charts last summer on here. Maybe I can find that one. And then maybe I can like go off of that. Wait, no, I don't want designs. So this is what their chore charts looked like last year. Um, I did have one that said Dalton's name too. I did the pictures and words because Dalton is not able to read um, a lot of words yet. And Brayden wasn't able to either. Like, he could read, but, like, not every single word. But now he's, like, he's such a good reader. But I'm going to do something similar to this, but not the same. Maybe I'll use this as, like, my basis thing. Like, not weekly chores, but it's going to be, like, daily responsibilities or something like that. Like, things that they are responsible for doing every single day and that I don't want to have to remind them about. Um, and then for this, we did like a, hold on, let me put you back up. So for the chore chart last year, we did, like if they got so many check marks on their chore chart, then at the end of the week, like on Friday or Saturday, they could pick like one fun thing to do, like a cheap thing, like um, go get ice cream or go to the dollar store and pick out a couple toys like something that was cheap but was still fun to them like go to McDonald's and play in the play place or something like that like something that was an incentive for them to want to do it um, I don't think I'm going to do that this year I don't really know what I'm going to do for like a reward system but um yeah i'm gonna change this to like daily responsibilities so that you know they know that that's what they're responsible for every single day all right so now i'm on the couch still with my computer but hunter is down for his afternoon nap I'm working on um, still like the daily responsibilities and the tour chart. Um, I have some of Brayden's like daily responsibilities and I think I've decided that I'm not going to do a reward system for the daily responsibilities because that is things that he should always be doing no matter what so I shouldn't reward that. But what I am going to do is have like an extras chart 
um, like something extra that they can do to get like a couple dollars for like I really don't know what those things are gonna be yet so I'm gonna have to keep working on it um, school ends next Friday is their last day of school um, so I want to be able to like have all of this ready and I know like Brayden and Dalton are at different ages so their responsibilities are going to be different and I need to have different expectations for them which I definitely do um, but Dalton is really good usually about like doing what he's asked um, and Brayden is at that age right now where he's like like he's pushing boundaries and he's pushing back on things that we ask him to do um, so I feel like if it's written out for him what my expectations are for him every single day um, that it'll be easier for him because he is also a role follower. So Brayden might push back and ask him to do things, but if he knows that that's expected of him, I really do think that he will do well with that. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me know down below if you have little kids like five and six, seven, whatever, and what you do for them in the summertime. Like if you do have any kind of structure or you're just like, it's summertime, like let's do what we want which is totally fine by the way like that's how it was when i was growing up we didn't have like much structure at all but i do want to have a little bit like i don't want them to forget everything they've learned through the school year over the summer so i want to have like some educational based like activities for them to do and dawn's preschool is really good about that like they've sent home a bunch of like activities and games and like um stuff for him to like work on over the summer and he loves doing that um, Brayden loves doing like science projects and stuff and I don't know I have to check in to see if there's like any camps around here like Brayden wants to do the camp at his school but I they haven't said anything home about it like they did last year and I just feel like I feel like that's mainly for parents that are working I don't I don't know I'm probably wrong about that and he probably would do really good but I just worry about him with his diabetes like I don't know if there's like a nurse that's going to be there for the summer camp which I assume there would be because kids still get hurt and they get sick and stuff like that but I don't know I'll have to ask um, but let me know what you guys do for your kids over the summer because like I've said multiple times I am nervous about it like last summer I was pregnant and then we had Hunter and we didn't do much at all last summer because I was like newly postpartum with a brand new baby and like and the boys were fine with it like they they were totally fine with that but this summer I want to do more things outside more fun things get them off of like screen time and everything as much as possible but also like I have a baby that has a nap schedule and that does not do well if he diverts from that nap schedule so I need to like keep that in mind also um, yeah I'm just rambling but let me know what you guys think down in the down in the comment section because help a mom out because I'm stressed about it like really 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 stressed about it I just want to make sure I'm doing the best that I possibly can for my kids and that I'm not messing them up like I'm teaching them to be just good humans you know just good humans but yeah I'm gonna sit here and maybe work on this a little bit I need to finish editing my video for tomorrow um I just I did like a rough edit of it yesterday so I just need to go back and like need to do like my montage intro and then add some music to some spots and stuff like that and make a thumbnail which shouldn't take that long I might actually also take a nap because I did not sleep good last night and Hunter's napping and I gotta get the boys in like two hours so I figure I could take an hour to do all the stuff that I have to do and then maybe take an hour nap if Hunter lets me but we'll see I still need to make lunch also and I want another cup of coffee I feel like this is like a common theme in my videos lately is I just want a second cup of coffee and I I know it's a bad idea like it's a bad idea to drink a cup of coffee this time of the day for me because it just makes me anxious but I still have a long day so I have to go get the boys I gotta make dinner I have to get the boys get Emma make dinner go to a t-ball game come back 
bathe all the boys get them all ready for school and everything for the next day i am ready for school to be over though i might be nervous about keeping all three of the boys entertained during the summer but i am ready for summertime i know that's for sure all the running around and school drop off and pick up is just stressful so um yeah that's what i'm gonna do so let me know down in the comments what you're doing um maybe you should take a nap also because we deserve rest as well especially when we're not getting it at nighttime because i know i know i don't for one i don't sleep well when my kids are sick Braden was in bed with us last night because he had a nightmare and then hunter just wasn't doing good because his belly was just upset i'm so glad he's feeling better today like everybody is on the mend hopefully hopefully i don't go down with it because we have a field day friday emma's party saturday my mom's coming in town to stay so we just have we have stuff to do and i don't have time to get sick mom does not have time to get sick okay so i've been working on these um lists again like responsibilities and stuff so i wanted to show you guys what i got so far in case you are trying to figure out this on your own also if you have anything you think i should add let me know so for Braden's responsibility he is my six-year-old i want him to make his bed brush his teeth twice a day get dressed and put his dirty clothes in the hamper because that is a problem that we have they just get undressed and leave their clothes where they are we have a hamper so you need to put them in there if you make the mess you clean the mess uh, make sure your phone is charged and in a safe place um, this is because he has diabetes he has a phone that is used to read his glucose levels and he's always misplacing it sitting it down somewhere forgetting or forgetting to put it on charge so it needs to be his responsibility to keep his phone charged and make sure that he knows where it is especially if he wants to use it for things that aren't included with his diabetes um and insulin before meals so we have been practicing him giving him giving himself his insulin through his um his insulin pump um, he just needs to know like how many carbs it is for like the meal or the snack and what his sugar is at that point in time. He just needs to put all the information in and it delivers the insulin for him. Um, so that he's been doing it for dinner time every night and for snacks if he gets a snack and everything. But um, that's going to be his responsibility over the summer. So hopefully when school comes around, he can be more responsible um with his diabetes or like i guess a bigger participant in taking care of his diabetes he is only six so i don't want him to feel like you know that is all his responsibility because it's not but it's good for him to figure it out now <clears throat> and then this is dalton's daily responsibilities i included pictures for dalton because he is only he just turned five he doesn't really know how to read that well so this is good for him and it's a his list is different because, again, he is only five. He's going into pre-K. Brain's going into second grade. There is a big difference there. Um, so I want him to make his bed, brush his teeth twice a day, get dressed, put his clothes in the hamper, and if he makes a mess, he needs to clean it. Um, and I feel like that is pretty basic responsibilities for him. And like I said, they won't. We're not going to do a reward system for their daily responsibilities. Um, this is stuff that they should do anyways and they don't need to be rewarded for it that's what i've decided so far we'll see how that works um and then this is the summer flex schedule that i have decided on so far obviously it could change but um, i'm gonna allow them to have screen time when they wake up until like breakfast time because sometimes they wake up at like six and like yeah you could have some screen time then because i don't want to be waking up at six um, so don't come for me. That's just how it is around here. Um, breakfast around nine ish. That's like my goal. Um, and then I want to do like a learning activity, like a workbook or play a game that like a reading game or something like that, a storytelling game, something like that. We have a bunch of those. So I need to go through our cabinet and get those together. So they're easy for them to find and pull out. <clears throat> and then if weather permitting after that I would like them to have like some outside play uh, and then snack times at 11 I am scheduling snack times because my kids will snack especially Dalton 
he will just go in and get snacks constantly and then he won't eat his meals so and that's expensive right so we don't want to be eating snacks all day long and then wasting our meals because food is not cheap um so i'm scheduling out two snack times like this is just for the day like like a school day like while my husband is working and then after snack time i'm not i guess i should put something in there i'm not really sure maybe some more outside play or something um and then 11 12 30 will be lunch one o'clock is like cleanup time to clean up all the messes that they had made in the morning and we're going to do quiet time from 1 30 to 2 30 where they can like which that will be when hunter is taking his afternoon nap and we all need a little bit of rest during the day right especially me so we're going to do some quiet time which they can like read a book play quietly in the room maybe i'll even let them have some screen time then also from 1 30 to 2 30 and then three o'clock we're going to do another snack time and then after that it's just going to be play time until it's like dinner time um let me know down below what you think about that if you would add anything if you would change anything i don't know maybe i'm thinking too much into this i just want i don't want them to snack all day and i don't want them to have screen time all the time so i feel like i need to be prepared and have something a rough schedule like a something written down that i can go by so that i just don't let them do whatever they want all day long i mean i then i do want to make like an extras like calendar or something where they can like pick something once a week or something to make a couple dollars here or there but yeah that is what i have so far and I'm pretty happy with it. It makes me feel a little bit better about going into summertime. Hey guys, so we just got back from T-Ball. The older two boys are still at the ball field with um, David. I David ended up meetings at the ball field because he didn't get off in time. I took Emma home, back to her dad's house, and um, me and Hunter just got back. I'm about to throw him, throw him, about to put him in the bath and get him in bed. You want to see? You want to say hi? Don't want to say hi. Say hi. He's feeling so much better, you guys. I'm so happy he's feeling so much better. You're feeling so much better. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end today's vlog. I really don't know how this vlog's going to turn out because I'm not really sure how much I actually got on film. But we had a pretty productive day. So I hope you all enjoyed hanging out with me. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Don't forget to say hi. Hey, don't forget to subscribe <laughs> don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here i would love to have you join my little youtube fam um give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below to let me know you're here hanging out with me and like i said i'll catch you guys in my next one bye guys